Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team, and this is a tutorial to show you some advanced functions of using the self-service wizards. So if you haven't watched the basic one already, you might want to have a look through that, purely to get an idea of how I've set up this uh, test wizard. Um, so I've set it up in a free stage, one to gather basic information, um, hardware details, and also final checks. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm um, just within the first stage of gathering basic information, I'm going to add a new step, um, new question here to actually populate one of the database columns. So I'm going to add in here, maybe setting the summary. Again, you wouldn't necessarily want to do this, but if you're doing this for a, um, Maybe it's a login new login a new call. You can use that for um, maybe giving a, like a general summarize uh, summarize of, of the actual issue they were experiencing, and you can populate the summary rather than having to manually do it afterwards. Um, so I'm going to populate the column open call itsm underscore title. You can set a default value such as um, you know something else summary of issue, um, but then obviously that will appear in the summary. So you can go wild with that. Um, so that's all. I'm going to quickly do that. So setting the summary is going to populate the summary column in the open call table. Let's click on add. Uh, I'm just going to put that up in the list here because we know the stage here is actually a yes or no to go to a different um, area of the wizard. So I want that above that. So I'm going to set the summary from the actual text box. So let's log into the portal and just see that in action. Okay, so now we've got setting the summary. So let's just quickly go through this and let's put in a test summary in there. Uh, let's just go no. Yes. Submit. 18. Okay. 18. And there you see it. Test summary. So it's come through uh, and it's populated. You'll see in the previous ones that it hasn't. It's populated with the name of the actual process. So unless you set it in the wizard it won't update uh, any other way. Um, so that's that's one thing you can do. You, don't, you can't just only do the um, you know the summary. You can do any any column you wish. You can update um, you know a particular person's department or you know the actual department or uh, organization on the call and open call table. So you might want to have a look at the, the schema I have report here to help you with any kind of other fields that you may wish to update via the portal. So now that's done I can show you other options as well. I'm also going to include a um, select box for uh, let's say a site. So let's say we add a new question for a select box and Please choose a site, and let's say we give choices. Let's just add that first. So let's say you don't want to predefine it. Let's say we, you've already got in the database a whole list of sites. You don't want to have to sit there and type them all in. That would be a bit painful. So you can actually choose the table from down here. So let's choose site. Let's choose a key column of. Uh, usually the actual uh, the primary key of the table is that one and the display name of the site, again the site name. You can add in a filter if you want. So let's say um, site name like so I've got a few in there I can show you in a second to get the syntax correct. There we go. Site name like UK dash so if I save that changes, again I'm going to put that above, so I can put it there. Um, I'll show you that I have got a couple of sites already predefined with that name. I'll just go into my test. There you are, I put in uh, Manchester, London and Liverpool. So then if I log into the portal, and request that same service. Then you see I've, we've got the uh, question here. So it's um, only pulled back them particular sites. We've not had to 
type them in manually if you have several you know that can be really really handy another thing we could we've seen in the past um, of what our customers have set up in the past is uh, specifically for new starters actually you can actually pick up every customer from your database and um, obviously put them down into one of these drop down boxes um, so that's all that's all very good um, if you do have you know several thousand customers or hundreds of hundreds of customers you may wish to filter it a little bit so it saves on any kind of slow queries on the database but um, it's really handy if you're doing a new starter and perhaps you have a you know an LDAP import script coming in and it's populating your database with all the names of the people um, and you want to do a new starter based on you know a particular application you simply you know select the name from a drop down list it's really really helpful um, so that's it for the actual um, any kind of a, a other advanced functions on the self-service wizard. Hopefully that gives you enough to go around and uh, create as many wizards, wizards as you like. I'm sure it'll be jumping from different process to process and uh, hopefully you can associate them with services okay. But if you do have any other questions or any other queries, uh, please let us know.